Hello students, as promised to you in the last week that I'll be conducting your physics paper 1, which is under CBCS pattern, credit based system. We have two papers this semester, physics paper 1 and physics paper 2. I'll be taking for the division B and C, okay, or division 2 and 3, whatever you can call it as. Paper 1, which is mathematical methods in physics, which is PHY 231, okay. In last week, I did mention along with, yes, I'll be taking the class. I did mention that last semester during this uh, COVID thing, during the online mode, I have developed many lectures along with the MCQ videos. So I told you to go through it. So by now, everybody must be knowing that I'll be taking your course. Okay. So last year like you suffered you did your complete fy bsc in lockdown sitting at home attending lectures online even we did the same thing we also learned new skills of taking the lecture recording it uploading it and even setting the question paper in the mcq mode and so on and so forth hope that after the early vacation gets over we will be meeting in the class and i'll be teaching you on the board but till that time, at least one or two lectures I'll be taking in this mode. Okay. So we'll begin with the first chapter, which is very interesting, which is complex numbers. So by now you must have come across many numbers in mathematics, real number, rational number, irrational number, and so on and so forth. But this becomes a very, very interesting thing called as complex number or Z. Moment you say complex number, the first thing is Z which is x plus i y. So now in today's lecture, we will see what is this i stands from or where does it arrive? That's our job to discuss. Okay. Now earlier you had solved quadratic equations. For example, suppose I have an equation x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. Right. How do you solve this equation? You solve x square minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0 then you say take x common x minus 2 minus 2 common x minus 2 is equal to 0 so x minus 2 x minus 2 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 2 comma 2 was your solution set that's what you have been doing in your school days or even in colleges but whenever you have an from quadratic equation in this fashion az square plus bz plus c is equal to 0 and a is not 0 a is having some value in that case what happens okay so suppose you have an example okay uh, before that what you do in this case you write the solution like this i solved you write z is equal to minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a this is the way you go to find out the solution of such equation where a b c are the numbers and a is not zero basically suppose i take an example which is 4z square minus 20z plus 15 is equal to zero this is the example given to me. Okay. To solve this, first I will make it very clear that B square minus 4AC is called as capital B. What is capital B? Okay. We need to find out the value and this capital B will be called as the discriminant. Okay, as it says b square minus 4ac okay and after getting the value of d check is the d positive or negative accordingly we will be able to reach out to the solution okay for example in this case suppose i want to find out b what will i say i say my a is 4 b is minus 20 and c is 50 fine right? So capital D becomes B square, that is minus 20 square, minus 4 into A into C, right? So 
square this square will be 400 minus this is either do 15 4 is into 4 okay so anyway you will be getting the answer which is around 15 uh, i think 320 okay so you get the answer around uh, once uh, 240 yeah, 240 right and if you give um, subtract 400 minus 240 you get the answer to be around 160 very fast okay so 160 number is obviously positive my d is positive right so in this case how will i get the solution so shoot the value over here and try to get the solution so i can say therefore z is equal to minus b so how much is b minus 20 plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac that answer turned out to be 160 right divided by 2a how much is a 4 so i'll write here 8 right okay? simplify further you get 20 plus or minus 160 divided by 8 simplify further so what you can take you can take something common over here for example suppose i say this is 2 4 is 8 this is 5 4 is 20 okay and this comes out to be 4 into okay 4 4 is 16 correct so you can write either 160 you can divide into 10 into 16 that will be easier 10 into 16 okay so you can can take out so it will become 4 so 4 common numerator 4 common denominator gets cancelled and what you have 5 plus or minus under root 10 divided by 2 correct so therefore what are the solution solution will be 5 plus under root 10 by 2 and 5 minus under root 10 by 2 is the solution set for such quadratic equation where my discriminant d is positive but when you have an example where the d turned out to be negative there is the introduction of the number i or the complex number which we will talk about now. Now for such example where you have 4z square minus 20z plus 27 is equal to 0. In this case same logic we will apply. First find out d. So you say d is equal to b square minus 4ac will give you minus 20 square minus 4 4 into 27 that will turn out to be 400 minus 432 right so you see d is negative so in such case you have to solve the problem in such a way which is z is equal to minus b so how much is this minus 20 plus or minus 20 square or minus 20 square into sorry directly will put the value instead of doing it again so i'll write over here minus 30 okay divided by 2a so a should be 8 okay so this will become 20 plus minus under root so here i try and write 2 into 16 okay so 2 into 16 divided by 2 4 is 8 okay so even this we can write in a fashion which is 5 4 is 20 okay so take it out this is under root 16 will be 4 this is 4 this is 4 gets cancelled and what is left is 5 plus or minus correct under root minus 2 divided by 2 right now this we can write in a proper fashion which is z is equal to 5 plus or minus under root i square into 2 divided by 2. Now for where this i square has come i is basically under root of minus 1 right which is my i under root minus 1 and i square will become okay i square value will be also minus 1 correct right? this i square is minus 1 so minus 1 into 2 so i got that answer 
So how will I write this equation now? I will write z is equal to 5 plus or minus i correct root 2 by 2 correct. So in this case the solution set will be z is equal to 5 plus i root 2 by 2 and 5 minus i root 2 by 2. So here just because I got the discriminant value to be negative so minus 32 was less than 0 so I directly used the simplest method so minus 2 4 has got cancelled everywhere and minus 2 was written as i square into 2 where i was my complex number okay under root minus 1 and i square value was minus 2. So this will become easier for me to write. Now, what is the reason behind doing this? Because the roots of such equations are neither rational nor irrational real numbers. So, there is no meaning of the negative of minus 2. Negative of under root minus 2. There is no meaning. That's the reason we need to simplify it further and get the answer in such fashion. Okay. So, we can say very clearly that the reason for getting the equations where a is not 0 but determinant value was negative that's what we proved okay from this we can very well mention so from this solution set we can very well clearly mention yes z is the complex number given by x plus i y what is x is the real part what is i y is the imaginary part. Suppose when I say z is equal to 2 plus 3i, so 2 becomes my real number and 3i is my imaginary number. Okay. Now, <clears throat> suppose I just say the example, this is first example. Suppose I say z is equal to 2. So obviously this complex number consists of only real number, it's of no use. Instead of that, suppose I say z is equal to 3i only. It has got a meaning that this complex number z does not contain any real part. It contains only imaginary part. So, you can say in this case x is 0. Okay. Or I can write real z is x and imaginary z is, in this case it is 0. In this case, real z part is 2. And imaginary z is 3i. And in this case, it is 0, this is 3. Okay. So, this will be easy for us to write. Now, after this, we can just define what is called as modulus of complex numbers. Right. Now, suppose I, we are seeing z is complex number x plus i y. The modulus of this complex number will be given by z bar is equal to x minus i bar. Okay. So, if you try and multiply this, what will I get? I will get z z bar is equal to x plus i y into x minus i y. Correct. So, this will give me x square minus i x y plus i y x minus i square y square. So this will become as i square is minus 1 this will become x square plus y square. This z z bar is also written as mod z square. Right? So mod z square is basically mentioned as x square plus y square or I can write only mod z is under root x square plus y square. Okay, so this is the way we can carry on with more information of this first chapter, which is complex number, where we are trying to define the complex number z, which is x plus i y. So this is just a basic introduction, what I wanted to finish in today's lecture. Today we'll try and do a little more as far as what is urban diagram, the rectangular form, what is polar form of complex number, and so on. Okay. Any difficulty, feel free to ask. Watch my other videos. If at all you have got some doubts, there are many questions on this chapter in the examination. Last year, 
this paper many students got full marks because of gain mcq and i took lot of practice so that helped them basically so problem solving is very critical as far as paper one is concerned one can score good marks because obviously this is a mathematical course okay go through it and educatedly feel free to ask thank you very much